Section 94 A Revelation Given at Kirtland, Ohio, June 1, 1833, through Joseph Smith, Jr. Verily thus says the Lord unto you whom I love, and whom I love I also chasten, that their sins may be forgiven, for with the chastisement I prepare a way for their deliverance in all things, out of temptation. And I have loved you, therefore you must needs be chastened and stand rebuked before my face, for you have sinned against me a very grievous sin, in that you have not considered the great commandment in all things that I have given unto you concerning the building of my house, for the preparation wherewith I designed to prepare my apostles, to prune my vineyard for the last time, that I may bring to pass my strange act, that I may pour out my spirit upon all flesh. But behold, verily I say unto you, there are many who have been ordained among you, whom I have called, but few of them are chosen. They who are not chosen have sinned a very grievous sin, in that they are walking in darkness at noonday. And for this cause I gave unto you a commandment that you should call your solemn assembly, that your fasting and your mourning might come up into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, which is, by interpretation, the Creator of the first day, the beginning and the end. Yea, verily I say unto you, I gave unto you a commandment that you should build a house, in the which house I designed to endow those whom I have chosen with power from on high, for this is the promise of the Father unto you. Therefore, I commanded you to tarry even as my apostles at Jerusalem. Nevertheless, my servants sinned a very grievous sin, and contentions arose in the school of the prophets, which was very grievous unto me, says your Lord. Therefore, I sent them forth to be chastened. Verily I say unto you, it is my will that you should build a house. If you keep my commandments, you shall have power to build it. If you keep not my commandments, the love of the Father shall not continue with you, therefore, you shall walk in darkness. Now here is wisdom, in the mind of the Lord, let the house be built not after the manner of the world, for I give not unto you that you shall live after the manner of the world. Therefore, let it be built after the manner which I shall show unto three of you, whom you shall appoint and ordain unto this power. And the size thereof shall be fifty and five feet in width, and let it be sixty and five feet in length in the inner court thereof, and let the lower part of the inner court be dedicated unto me for your sacrament offering, and for your preaching, and your fasting, and your praying, and the offering up your most holy desires unto me, says your Lord. And let the higher part of the inner court be dedicated unto me for the school of my apostles, says Son Amen, or in other words, Alphas, or in other words, Omegas, even Jesus Christ, your Lord. Amen.